What's up guys, it's Sean from Rags to Boss and today I want to talk to you guys about the new hires that were done by SafeMoon. Now, as you know, the FUD Hound aka the SafeMoon Hound aka Ryan Ariaga was fired the other day for basically insubordinates, leaking information, whatever. I have a video on that that was kind of a tin foil hat video. Um, basically, who knows why he got fired, but the fact remains they have actually hired some new people to start working on blockchain technology, which you would say is great news, and it probably is. But I got a lot of people in the comments saying, look, they've hired some new people. These people are absolute techno wizard innovators they are going to knock this blockchain out in a couple of months and it's going to be all gravy so i decided of course i was going to look into these people a little bit and the two people that jumped out most to me are the people who are going to start working on the blockchain and that is a couple called lynn and robert spraggs and i actually did some research on these people because they have some pretty wild claims in their bio, like uh, advising the White House, um, basically making innovative technology when it comes to military encryption and all this kind of stuff. And I actually found out that they must be, and I couldn't find an exact age for both of them, but they must be in their 70s just based on when they did their dissertations and st stuff like that was all the way back in 1968. and they must be around their 70s now no problem i mean that's fine uh you know that could make them even smarter than some new kid on the block i guess but then when i started to look at their websites one of their websites is um from a company called Acode inc which basically stands for anonymous key and their website is anonymouskey.com if i believe that's true yes anonymous code uh, anonymouskey.com basically if you go look at this website though this website is just built off a very simple template and a lot of the links on this website are not even working and when i first visited this website yesterday the sll key the key for basically encrypting the website so making sure that this uh, connection is secure was actually out of date and not working now they have actually since fixed that but if you click on social media uh, keys for instance you just get redirected back to the home page the whole website feels very janky there is not any real information being given about the technology whatsoever so they are basically the ceo and cto of this company I also then looked up the second company that they have registered and that is actually Aegis Systems and that doesn't really have an actual website. If you click on links that you can find to this website, you actually go back to the Accode site, which has nothing to do with it whatsoever. Also when you look up Aegis Systems Canada on Google and you look where it is located, the business address for Aegis Systems is actually this kind of shack in the middle of nowhere on basically half abandoned industrial area and it looks boarded up to be honest and also it's got some kind of camper van which is like falling apart on the driveway look all I'm saying is these are not million dollar companies nor do they seem to be doing very well and these people are also in their 70s now they do hold phds i'll give them that but this doesn't seem to be the innovators that we are going to be looking for when we are talking about building the most innovative blockchains also there is no evidence that they've ever even coded a blockchain they are just basically into internet network security and encryption and stuff of that kind so what could this possibly be adding to such a tech company as SafeMoon? I mean, they always claim to be a tech company and they're a tech company first and they're innovative and leading the way and etc. etc. So then you hire two 70 year olds that haven't really done anything since 1996 and that have two companies that for all I can see is only making about 100,000 a year and that is registered to basically a basically broken down 
industrial area where everything's boarded up and there's a broke ass camper outside like I don't want to be harsh but for everybody in the comments getting so excited saying look these people are you know they're the bees knees they're gonna solve this problem we have with not having a blockchain man I don't think so I think they just hired a couple of 70 year olds that hold a PhD so that they can say look we've hired PhDs and you know everything is gonna be fine I think this is just another hype move guys now I've yet uh, to do research into the other guy they hired Jake Hammock I will be doing so but look, it doesn't look very good, man. Uh, I mean, the safe, uh, the safe moon hound wasn't the most intelligent guy in the world, by all means. Uh, it's good that we got rid of him, probably. But like, is this going to save them? I don't know, man. We're gonna have to see. But in the meanwhile, we're at the end of March. We've not had such a great birthday month, have we? I mean, there was product products supposed to roll out. Well, I suppose we've got like a couple more days, but. Like, it's not looking very good. The price is crashing. Anyway, what do you guys think? Robert and Lynn Sprags, are they going to save the day? Who are these people? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Am I maybe being too harsh? I don't know. Uh, we'll see what they come up with in the next kind of few months. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, guys, follow me if you like content like this. Subscribe and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.